So today we're going to show you guys how to um, dissolve a, a and to make a solution with a specific amount of molarity and to get an accurate representation of that and an accurate um, molarity for our solution. So I have here a volumetric flask. The volumetric flask this is a 500 milliliter volum volumetric flask. So for each sample of substance that we would make, we would have a different size. So they come in liters, they come in 100 milliliters, they come in 50 milliliters, they come in 500 milliliters. Um, so we're going to make a half liter or 500 milliliters of a potassium permanganate solution. Um, we're making a specific molarity. So we've calculated what the what uh, mass of the potassium permanganate we need, which is right here, 7.9 grams of potassium permanganate per 500 milliliters. So we've done the stoichiometry to figure out uh, that we need the 7.9 grams of potassium permanganate. Um, we use the volumetric flask because they are easy uh, to, to find the correct volume at because right on the neck here, if you zoom in, we have a scratch mark that has gone all the way around the neck and they make this glassware and then they specifically fill it up with a very fixed amount of uh, solution or water and then they scratch it off where it's right. So the scratch might be a little bit higher up on some, or might be a little bit lower on some, but it's very specifically 500 milliliters. And it's a narrow neck, so we can swirl it around when we want to mix. So the first thing we want to do, once we have our, our chemical that we're going to make a solution for, our solute, solute we're going to take that, we're going to pour it in to the neck of the bottle of the flask, I should say. So I've got my 7.9 grams of potassium permanganate, and then I'm gonna add my distilled water. And I have not measured how much distilled water I have. We're not gonna take 500 milliliters of distilled water. We're gonna use, I have distilled water, and I'm gonna just pour it in there, and I'm not gonna fill it up to the line, because I wanna mix it first. And that's really the key. Because if we use 500 milliliters of distilled water, pour it in there, the potassium permanganate takes up space, so it's going to be more than 500 milliliters. So we're going to mix it first by adding some of this into the flask. It's a nice purple color. So we mix it up. So we're going to add enough in there so we can still swirl it around. So about halfway up, and then we're going to swirl it and make this solution. All right, like a cooking show, when they have something prepared in the oven, we had to let this agitate for a little bit longer than we thought. So we, we cut this off, uh, now we've brought it back. It's fully dissolved in there. So now I want to bring it to the right concentration. And to do that, I need to bring it to the right volume. I have the moles of potassium permanganate in there. Now I need the correct volume of solution. Because right now it's extra concentrated. So I'm going to add my water, my solvent in there. And I can get some of that solution off of the neck of the bottle as I do that. And... So I still have the line, line around the neck of the bottle, and I'll add this in there until it starts climbing the neck, and that will climb very fast. So as you approach the neck with the liquid, you wanna slow down, otherwise it'll shoot past what you're trying to get. So we'll get in there, slow down, pour it up there, and now it starts filling up tremendously fast, or faster than you're prepared for oftentimes. So now, once I get to that point, I have, I have a pipette that I can take some in there, and a couple squirts of the pipette, to get to the spot that I need to get 
for the volume. And here, of course, you want to look at the meniscus, so you got to get down to the level of that. And this is a difficult solution because it's so dark to see where the meniscus is, but slowly add a little of the solvent until the meniscus is at the line. All right, so now I have my one, 0.1 molar potassium permanganate solution, and I have 500 milliliters of it, and I know that it's measured to the right volume. I know the moles in there, so I have the correct concentration. All right, so we also want to eventually, well, not eventually, but our concentration is going to be more in the bottom than the top a little bit since we just added the water, so now we want to flip it a couple times after sealing the top. And now the concentration is consistent throughout. All right? So we always want to bring it up to the correct volume, not start with the volume that we want. And that's really the key. Thank you. To prepare a solution of known concentration from a solid solute, we must first weigh out an appropriate amount of the solid. For example, to prepare 250 milliliters of a one molar solution of copper sulfate, we first weigh out 0.250 moles of copper sulfate. Most commonly, copper sulfate is available as the pentahydrate. The formula mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate is 249.7. We weigh out precisely one-fourth of this mass, 62.4 grams. Note that the weight on the balance is the sum of the paper and copper sulfate. We okay, the reason why we're showing this video is notice how if you did the molar mass of the copper sulfate pentahydrate, they included the mass of the water because as in its crystal form, that hydrate actually has the water prepared there. So when you make up the solution, you need to factor that in. So when you do the formula mass or the molar mass of hydrates, you include the hydrate mass as part of your calculation. You don't exclude it. You do include that part. Next, transfer the copper sulfate completely to a 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Water is added and the flask swirl to dissolve the solid. Finally, water is added to bring the total volume in the flask to exactly 250 milliliters. Okay, we'll go on to the next video. This one focuses on uh, the, the dilution part and making sure that you put in the proper volume. Ready for dilution. Use solvent to wash any residual solute from the neck of the flask. Take this last opportunity to mix the solution well before diluting it to the mark. When the solution level is near the mark, check that the temperature of the solution is near room temperature. If it is not, wait for it to reach room temperature. Use an eyedropper to bring the meniscus to the mark. Insert a stopper and mix the solution by inverting it. Do not use your hand. Okay, the last part there about inverting the stopper, if you don't mix after you add that last bit of water, what will happen is in the top side of your solution, you'll actually have a less concentrated form of your solution. It'll be more concentrated towards the bottom. So once you get to the volumetric flash, you want to make sure you do a last set of mixing to get all that solution completely mixed evenly so the concentration is even throughout.